Wake up. Wake up. On Saturday mornings, I usually wake up about 5 to 11, 11 o'clock when I'm called by my banner. Um, there's a big shuffle. <laughs> and she brings in a cup of tea with the records what I've been delivered by the postman. I usually get around 30 records a week. And I usually arrive on the Friday or the Saturday morning. And um, I get them sent to me free, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, good. Well, we've got a rush. Um, anyway, let's get these records sorted out. Let's sort this right out, so that's all right. Take the bag. What about the others? Eh? What about the others? What one's that? That's oh, okay. Yeah, I'll put them in the back there. Okay. I'll take these down there, Mike. You bring this one on, all right? Okay, I'll just get my jacket. I'll be right with you, all right? Okay, I'll just get my gear out. We usually leave uh, my house about a quarter to one. If we make sure we've got all the clothes in order. For instance, the black suit. I should be wearing that at Pantiles. And, um... Casual gear for the uppercut, that's a striped suit. And um, a silver shirt, satin, it's very, very shiny, with red velvet trousers and black boots for tiles because they're quite a raving crowd there. We usually get about 2,000 people on a Saturday, so you've got to be quite raving. Ten to one, we're on the road, whizzing after the uppercut. You must have a big car because kids like to see you arrive in a, a nice, presentable car. Because when you turn up on a bus, it looks a bit off, you see. We don't go too mad at the uppercut because we're playing to people from the age of 10. Hello, hello. Now dancing and having lots of fun, you know, we really wanted to have a good time. This is a record by Chris Montez, a good old revival, one everybody can jump about to call. Let's dance! I really do feel like Uncle Mike up there when I'm playing to them because I'm double their age. But it doesn't matter, they accept it. And I like them, they like me. Because with children, and that's what they are really, they can sense it. If you don't like them, they know, and they'll be off. I think they're good. You see, children are not frightened to show how they feel about things, whereas people at the age of 18 and 19 that have got a big complex, they think everybody's looking at them. Up this week, 
So we'll see you all next week on the Giggle Gaggle Google Show. All right, so that's it. Once again from me, Mike Quinn, Joey O. Arthur Carley with a record called Sweet Soul Music! This Saturday was a bit different because I was on the panel of Jukebox Jury and we wanted to watch that. Good on. Thank you very much indeed, and welcome once again to the two to box show. We're very happy to be here. We've had some clock trouble in the studio, but we're on time right now. And it's my pleasure to welcome first time on our show a young gentleman who has been one of the co-hosts of a whole scene going and is now the regular disc jockey in a London club. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet Mike Quinn. <laughs> Well, that's not the first time some of us have heard that song, uh -huh. but it's the first time you probably heard the King Brothers version of My Mammy, My Queen. Oh dear, I'm uh, uh -huh. yes. Well, I think why not, because the Bachelors have had so many hits, and everybody else is getting hits, and the King Brothers have been around for so, so long. They've done lots and lots of good records when I was about that high. Yep. I was so small and I used to like the King Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good hits. Why not? I'd like to see them go, uh, well, coming in number 20. Yes? Did you like it, Bill? I like it. I think it could go. It just depends. It's so much loving going on at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Very good indeed. Yeah, oh, can we just watch that end bit there? D just watch the old name fly by. <laughs> we'll use different records to what we used this afternoon because this is more of a sophisticated audience anyway. Oh, yeah, it's a new club, isn't it? Yeah, it's a brand new place. Very good. Well, it's been told, anyway. All right. Oh, I'll be wearing a black suit tonight. All right? Let's get an ashtray fitted in this car, you know? I don't think we're going to need this now. It's on this road somewhere. This is it. Dead on. Well, we don't need that. And we should be all right for time now. Oh, this looks good. Looks nice. Lovely. Right. We made that in good time. Okay. Now we'll get the record straight out and straight right, in. Yeah. All right? Yeah, Lovely. Right Is this a live wire or what? What is it? How are Actually, it's quite funny. In this club tonight, we had to bring our own equipment along. When we arrived, the plugs wouldn't work. We couldn't find a screwdriver. <laughs> the wires wasn't long enough. And no nothing seemed to be going right. Now, these are the times you fall down. You think, it's going to be very off tonight. They're going to watch me fixing up my gear. And then I'm going to dance. But when you get some wire and you join it and you plug it in, it's all good again. Hello, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Mike Quinn Show. It's very nice to see you all. Are you all right? Yes? Oh, hey, lovely. That's the stuff. Beautiful. Now, can we all have a nice warm-up tonight? Because it's the very first time I've been down here to Pentel's. We want to, you know, we've got really good memories, don't we? Have a very good time. So let's start with the record everybody knows. It's a record by Arthur Conley called Sweet Soul Music. It's going to warm up this record, player, so you've got to allow. OK, there we are. Lots of couples on the floor going mad and dancing and having lots of fun. Good music, that's that sweet soul music. Yeah. Just go to the swing, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. We out here on the floor, y'all. I'm going to a go. a lot of worry on your mind all the time because you know it's got to be good and sometimes I want a record and I feel this record must be next and it's very frustrating when you can't find this record you know we're looking through together like mad to find it and we can't find it and tensions building all the time and the records coming to an end and you haven't got another one ready Spotlight on Jane Brown, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you like 
this is the kind of club where people are dressed smartly. They've come out in their ties. They've bothered. They've washed. They've put the uh, perfume on. They feel good. You know, they've come out to enjoy themselves, and they don't want to look at somebody up on the stage who's, who's just got it rolled out of bed in their jeans, and they're standing up there with an old scarf thrown around the neck and the half a dozen badges chucked over them. It means nothing. So I think you should adapt. I always try to adapt to every club I go to. Uh, we left Pantars. We leave at 10. So we've only got one hour to get from Bagshot to London to do tiles. So it, usually I read the map for hour. We do about 60 and 70 to get there quick. And Saturday night was good. It really was good because I'd done jukebox and I was feeling good. Tiles is really our big club because we have our biggest follow in there. And before I even arrive, I know there's going to be over 2,000 people easy on a Saturday night because it's an all-nighter. And I'm very pleased to say we get the best spot, which is from 11 o'clock to 12. And that is a very, very good spot because it's at its peak. And if it's going to be packed, that's the time you'll get the most people in there. of aftershave so we're smelling good because when you're smelling good you're feeling good hello good evening welcome to the my queen rave up you all ready yes okay there we are can everybody sort of fill up these middle gaps in the middle and everybody come nice and near and near and near so we're all nice and close together and we'll play lots and lots of soul and good stuff. Are you ready? If you like the records, can you clap after every record so we know exactly what records you like? And then we, <laughs> then we know exactly where we are. So all the people who haven't been to Taos before, I want to welcome everybody. All the Swedish, the French, the Americans, the Germans and the British even, you know. We've even got a few here tonight. Okay, then this is a record by Odie Shredding. Really, I have to get the whistle out. And the West Indians and the Jamaicans who I love. I love you all really, so let's have lots of fun. This is a record by Odie Spreading and Carla Thomas, which is called Tramp. So let's see everybody moving a lot and having lots of fun. <laughs> I'm up and down the country, getting people going, having a good time, and everywhere must be a party. If it isn't a party, I'll, I'd rather not do it, really. I, I'd do it, if it was bad, very, very bad, I wouldn't even want the money. I'd walk out. I take it so serious. I really do. And I know how I felt. When I was dancing, and you dance with a girl, and the record isn't right, you can't dance, so you've got to leave the floor. I like to keep them on the floor, and if people are enjoying themselves, they will stay. At the end of the day, I'm usually completely, completely shattered. 
or my face goes hard. And I find it very difficult to smile. My eyes either close or are open or... But it really shows. I look haggard. But when the, you know, curtains close at the end and you know it's all over and you walk off the stage, all of a sudden, you relax, just like that. Had it tonight, wasn't it? Huh? Oh, dear, what a night. Fantastic. Oh, oh it's great. But you're worn out, aren't you? Oh, it was good, though. Oh. I feel quite shattered. I really do. You look it. Huh? 